Hey, 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 good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the 127th episode of the Dueling Dealers of Comic Art. I'm your host, Bill Cox. For those new to the show, the format is simple. Structured like a prize fight, two original comic art dealers will present comic art for sale that is either new to the market or priced to sell. The dealer with the most sales by the end of the show is crowned tonight's champion. During tonight's main event, there are 10 rounds of art for sale, with each dealer bringing two artworks for sale per round. Artworks presented in rounds one through four will be priced $1,000 or less. Rounds five through eight will have artwork priced $2,000 or less, and anything goes in rounds nine and ten. Each dealer will be given 90 seconds per round to present both of their artworks for sale in rounds one through eight and two minutes in rounds nine and ten. Viewers are encouraged to be a part of the show by engaging in friendly conversation in the YouTube chat. And if you're watching on YouTube, please Hulk smash that like button, subscribe to this channel, and turn on notifications so that you never miss a single show on the Comic Art Live channel. The claim and artwork you want to buy this evening, type your claim in the chat in the following format. Claim 2A-Anthony or claim 6B-Mike. In other words, the word claim, followed by the round number and the letter A or B, a dash, and then the dealer's first name. Each time a dealer presents an artwork for sale, the exact claim phrase will be on the screen just above the art description. Please try to claim an artwork during the dealer's round, but if you miss that window, you can claim the artwork at any time during the rest of the show. You'll be given one last chance to purchase artwork during the Ragnarok recap where the dealers are more open to wheel and deal, if the duel is indeed a close one. Since this is the internet, there can be technical issues. When several people try to claim the same artwork at the same time, your browser may not order your chat in the same order that we see it here in the studio. Our view of the chat is ordered properly, and we will make the decision for whom has claimed the artwork. During a dealer's round, you are allowed to make an offer on the artwork presented. However, the dealer is not required to respond, reply, acknowledge, or accept your offer. Be courteous and only message dealers who are currently presenting their art for sale. After the show, be sure to contact either of our dealers if you've claimed any of their artworks. Let them know which artworks you've claimed. Please include your mailing address and your YouTube or Facebook handle. Let's get ready to wheel and deal! You guys got moves that I don't have. Look who's here! Chris! What is Hello. going on Hello. in the studio Hello. tonight? Hi, Anthony! <laughs> Hi, boys! Hi, honey. Hi, honey. Oh, I Chris. miss you! Oh. I miss you! It is a uh, bizarre set when it's got five you windows in it, isn't it? Right spot, Bill. Well, the show hasn't started yet. I don't. Where do I put everybody? I guess uh, Anthony has to be in the bottom. Right, Anthony? So that way sure. I can go like this? No, no, <laughs> don't do that. Don't do that. That's you. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, yes, Anthony's on the Can't road. Wait. He's in his hotel room. He's not watching TV any longer. So, uh, so that's a good thing. Yeah. Look at that. But he wore his fedora. Yeah. And there we go. We expect to see a lot of that tonight, everybody. Yes, very many technical <laughs> problems. Oh, I'm jerry-rigging this over here. So I'm in Phoenix to do my pop-up tomorrow at Fantastic Worlds, and then I go to L.A. for those two. Can you hear me? Not very well. Barely. 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 Yeah. Open up. Put that volume up. Uh, I don't even know how. That's better. Well, it was better. Oh, okay. Oh, there you That's go. much better. Just got to be closer. <laughs> Yeah, so it's going to be one of those kind of shows tonight, everybody. Five screens. Who knows what's going to happen? We'll probably have to drop a screen out here or there just to make sure the formatting we can works. Drop Bill out. Yeah, we, we'll drop we'll, Bill we'll, out. Yeah, you, you don't need me as part of this show. <laughs> hey, I wore this tonight because maybe there's Loki in at least one of the pieces of artwork tonight. I think that, I think that might be the case. No, I just showed you that. That's not in the show. Oh, there's only there's no Loki art in the show tonight. Then everybody, uh, I believe yeah. there is. There might be one Loki in the show tonight. All right. See, I thought there was a piece of Loki art in there. I just, I just couldn't Loki remember who it was for. You're a piece oh. of Loki art. Oh Look, my! God. I got my my crotch goblin T-shirt. What an insult. Uh, yeah, the pink crotch goblin t-shirt. Look at that. 
styling. She could walk down the runway with that thing on. Sells <laughs> itself. We do have a Loki in the art show tonight for sure. All right. See, I, I thought there was a Loki in there somewhere. So let's do the coin flip because, uh, you know, I don't know who's going first. All tonight, San Diego art. All San Diego art. Oh, man, it's like in slow motion tonight. Wow. Oh, man. How did that happen? No one's going to say okay, Mike. Here. You can go first. No, I'm not going first. I won first. <laughs> you never let me go first. That uh, is so true. I think I did once, but you had already never. Won. But uh, you had the recap first, or yeah, first. Yeah. That was probably one of the last ones. So what are you gonna do, Mike? Are you gonna go first? Or are you gonna go second? You're going first. I'm gonna first. go first. Anthony's won like four in a row. I gotta change it up. Oh is please! I've not won four in a row. You might have won three of the Just last one, five. One oh, you've victory. won four of the last five. One victory, and it feels like four in a row to Bergster. You're doing your something with the volume, man. Anthony, your I think volume you're is your, just I, perfect. I think you're putting your thumb over the microphone. That's uh, my guess. Your volume is just yeah. perfect. That way Sharon can <laughs> oh, take over. Can See? You, can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? That's better. It is better. So, Caesar, no, there will be no uh, Dueling Dealers show next week. I can tell you that right now. No dueling dealers. Both those guys are going to be in San Diego. I will not be there, but uh, but they will be. So look them up. San Diego. All right. All right. So uh, so Mike, you get to start us off tonight. I guess I need that other other screen in here. It's going to be weird trying to have five screens on at one time, everybody, because it's just going to make a mess of everything, as we all know. Because look, I brought I dropped this thing in here, and and now it's just it's just a big whatever it's going to be. Look at that. Even that thing doesn't work. Yeah, we should just take you out. Bill, our... You want to take me out during it? I mean, yeah, just to show the pieces better. Oh, my goodness. Okay, Anthony's commentary is more important than my uh, my, my leadership while in here. We'll try that one round, and I bet it Well, your audio there. will still be there, right? No, if I take myself out of the stream, then uh, oh, you no, don't get to hear me. Don't you take, why don't you take Anthony and just show the price after each show the round. Person who's showing. We don't show the price people. after each round, Bill. <laughs> uh, well, we need the clock and everything, so we got to have that on there. Yeah, oh. so Bill and Mike be on screen and the clock. And but who do I, do I drop Anthony out or do I drop you out? Both of us. I only need to drop one of you out. I have to drop okay. both of you out. Well, Whoever's Anthony's on his phone. Yeah, Anthony's texting. We'll drop him out. <laughs> All right, there that you go. Better. Oh, that looks so much better. Um, <laughs> You'll, we'll be right back, Anthony. Don't you worry. <laughs> All right, let's get this thing started here. Mike, you get to lead us off for uh, for a very regular time here. He's got two pieces of art for his one A artwork to get us started. Here you go. Very nice, folks. By Carlos, by Carlos Eduardo uh, Acuna. Uh, oh, the name is spelled wrong. Yeah. Acuna. Uh, anyway, it's uh, uh, Carlos Eduardo Acuna. Beautiful 11 by 17 pinups of the Scarlet Witch and the White Queen. You get them both. Both are 11 by 17. Both are signed by the artist. You get them both for one price, just 350 for the pair. Beautiful, beautiful. Let me show them up close. Beautiful pieces, folks. One and two. Sexy, sexy piece. Are we allowed to say that? Anyway, you get them both. Uh, they're want, both 11 by 17 and signed by the artist. So that's uh, the first one. So 350 for the pair. You get them both for one price. And that's, oh, that's again, Carlos Eduardo Cuna, C-U-N-H-A. Yeah, and that the wasn't next on piece, the... For you people that like, uh, for you people that like to play cards and everything, get a load of this. This is a great page from the 1968 Silver Age Pete Costanza. From the story titled Touch of Life, Jimmy Olsen saves a medicine man's life who gives uh, Jimmy Olsen the ability to, to bring to life anything he touches. So these robbers come and he touches his playing cards and all the jacks and all the kings come to life and beat up the robbers that are trying to beat up uh, Jimmy Olsen. This is 1968. Nothing really famous happened in 1968. So this is 55 years old. And a beautiful page, just 375, 55 years old. We have a claim somewhere. Anthony, 
Anthony's trying to claim it because he likes cards. Yeah, the playing cards come to life in battle. Ooh, neat. I don't know if we're... Are, well, he's not technically playing tonight. I mean, is he allowed to claim a piece of art? I, I don't know. What do you mean I'm not playing tonight? Well, Sharon's in charge right now. I got all the big <laughs> stuff. I got all the small stuff. I got the big stuff. 55 Are you claiming years old, that, Anthony? Silver Age page. Huh? He's allowed to claim if he wants. Well, when he's, he's, not, he's not the lead tonight. I Hey... Mike, you have to be the one to say whether or not you're going to let Anthony claim that. Sure, I'll let him claim it. All right, well, then the ice has been broken. Anthony Snyder has picked up a piece That's of That's a great page with all the Jacks and the Kings, man. Thank you for breaking the ice. Yay! All right, well, there you go, the first one of the night. Now, Mike. Thank you, Anthony. Do you go on the wheel now? Anthony goes on the wheel. Yes, I got to go on my own spinny wheel. You get a discount. Yeah, right. That would be only if you bought from yourself. But, oh, right. uh, Mike, oh, yeah, repeat yeah. the name of the artist on the, on the uh, pair of artworks. Mike's wheel. Yeah, it, it's, it's, I, uh, the, it was spelled wrong. It's, it's Carlos Eduardo Cuna, C-U-N-H-A. Yeah, it wasn't in the spreadsheet. Yeah. Acuna, okay. His name is Rich oh, the Becker. spreadsheet had it wrong. Yeah, here, I'm going to. Put it in the comments just so you know here. All right. That's good. All there, right. That's the artist. Anthony, that Anthony hotel room building. looks good. He's It'd going to raise the bar you right now. Like, yeah. There you go. Mike, Mike has put it in the chat. Everybody can see it now. There would be fun times going on if you were here. Yes, Are there you would. at the casino? Yeah, the Talking okay. Stick Casino. But, uh, oh, uh, you know what it was? I was tomorrow. doing my spell check, and they changed his name from Kuna to Unhand. <laughs> it does say Unhand. Yeah. I, okay. I realized when I said it to myself, it uh, changed the name. <laughs> We're gonna see so if these are still uh, available, folks. Three fifty for the pair. Three fifty for the pair. <laughs> uh, yeah. Paul says you should order some room service, Anthony, and Sean Clancy, who's you can't see Sean's comment because he's on Facebook, so I'm highlighting it for you. He says, uh, shouldn't Anthony be at negative 375 right now? Very true. Cool. <laughs> Very cool. He's competing against well, himself like that. Technically, he is. All right. He is at negative That's 375. That's fun. I like that. <laughs> uh, all right. And I do think, Anthony, you're going to be at Torpedo, right? Yeah, of course. I'm at Torpedo okay. Saturday and Sunday. Uh, Fantastic Worlds in Arizona tomorrow. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. As you just texted in the uh, chat. Okay. Now we've got to get Sharon up here because Sharon's doing the low price start and Anthony's doing the high price start is what I got on the scoop here. I, but I'm she's kind of the high class. As you are. Mm -hmm. But who do I drop out? I should drop off Mike, I guess, for, yeah, for a moment. Mike out. Sure, you can drop me off. <laughs> Why do we need him? Well, I mean, hey, it makes it work better. All right, so uh, let's start uh, you off, Sharon. Now, of course, it's not going to be, you're not using Sharon's name. You've got to use Anthony's name in the chat for these. But look at this one. Look at this thing. It Aquaman. is awesome. I mean, come on. Aquaman and the thing. It's Anthony riding a dolphin with, shark with, with your male with shark teeth. That's that's just the best. And they're having a grand old time. They look yeah, very yeah. happy. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, that's awesome. It's Ramona Freighton, I mean. Right? Ramona yeah. Freighton. She's amazing. So she the price Chris, where is, is your guitar? And it is oh it's nine by eleven and it's signed beautifully, I might add. I like her signature a lot. What else? What else about this one? The thing needed a bath. So nice. he went out and out with Aquaman. Okay. The details, the eyes, awesome. Check this one out. And speaking of Aquaman. There we go. And I think Nemo's Nemo, in this one, too. Yeah. <laughs> Look. It's wonderful. Terry Dodson, Aquaman with Nemo. Beautiful ink commission. 9 by 12. 300 dollars yeah i love the color of this it's it's really cool and like the, the light coming in on that really awesome 
I think Anthony's room service showed up. Anthony has room service, actually. Oh, I no, hope it was, so. It was my suitcase. I love this. That's amazing. It's great. Yeah. Continuing our tradition of Aquaman not selling. Why, why can't I be in the Aquaman sales? I need to help sell those Aquamans. Sharon well, loves Aquaman. I'd like to see. I uh, love Aquaman. Everybody loves Aquaman. <laughs> change He's something up there for us. Hey, Anthony. Everybody wants. Well, turn it off. Aquaman. Listen up, everybody. Yeah, I saw the question about whether the art could be picked up at San Diego or not. And clearly the artwork that's in Sharon's hands, when she's showing it, you can't pick up in San Diego. But when Anthony gets to his artwork, that can be picked up at San Diego. So keep that in mind when you're buying your artwork. Okay. I got the high-end stuff up here. Indeed. All right, let's bring Mike back into the stream Where here. Where am so I, Mike? I said I've been out of commission. Anything anybody wants from me, I could bring to San Diego. Anything tonight, anything website, I could take everything to San Diego. And I will have between 2 and $3 million of all new art I'm taking to San Diego this year that's not on my site, folks. Make sure you go to booth 4400 to see me at San Diego. Hear that, Anthony? You can you can uh, pick up the uh, card art from Mike's booth this weekend. There you go. And you don't I'll even have to wear a diaper. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. All I right, want you to do the diaper bomb again. That's fun. Uh, and Bill, so just to be nice, can you bring it to Jersey, Berkey? I'm not going to Jersey anywhere. Uh, I'm lowering these to 300 bucks. If anybody wants them before my recap, 300 bucks for the pair. 300 for the pair. Okie dokie. Sounds good, Mike. I'm dropping Anthony out so we can get out of the round. Free delivery to San Diego. Free delivery. All right, I love that. Everybody loves free free shipping <laughs> to San Diego. And delivery to San Diego, folks. No handling oh. fees. Already, John. Wow. Uh, yeah. Free hand delivery, not shipping. Hand delivery. Check this out, folks. Very cool. I think this was done for a treasury. This is from the 1980 Olympics. Ernie Chan. There's his EC. Pencil and ink by Ernie Chan featuring the incredible Hulk. Uh, dressed for the Olympics on the parallel bars as he busts the parallel bars at the top. Beautiful 11 by 17 printed. I believe it was done for a 1980 Marvel Treasury, but I hadn't found it. But beautiful finish, penciled and beautifully ink piece, just 400 bucks. We're talking 43 years old, folks. Beautiful, beautiful piece. Ernie Chan, who drew the Hulk for how many years? Just 400 bucks. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, Hulk been up done on an 11 by 17 marble artboard. So 400 bucks. That's the first one. Second one is a two piece lot. I, I love these. How many times you get Batman battling Bane and the Joker? Two beautiful Christopher Jones pages from Batman Strikes. Uh, number four is Bane. Batman Strikes number four by. Uh, uh, Christopher Jones, both of them are inked by Terry Beatty. Also, four panels of Batman and Bane battling on a roller coaster as Bane busts up the roller coaster trestles and smashes Batman with it. That beautiful, again, Christopher Jones, Terry Beatty with Batman and Joker throughout the entire page. So you get them both as one lot. Beautiful, beautiful piece. Hi, mate. Gone a light? Oh, 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 wait. That's Crocodile Dundee. I'm in the wrong movie, mate! Hey, get me a Foster's! Oh, boy. Oh, <laughs> But we boy. haven't shown that one in a long time. No, we haven't. There's probably a good reason why we haven't shown that one in a while. <laughs> uh, you kind of look like Indiana Jones. I was trying to work in uh, some hell. older memes from our bin dives. And, uh, uh, yeah, we just... Sharon is coming to San Diego. She can bring uh, any claims that want to be picked up there the, from the stuff she has. Yeah, I'll pack it up. There you go. And what did you get from room service, Anthony? Alberta wanted to know. My suitcase. Ah. Oh, a, soup? a case of soup? You got a soup case? Wow. I got a suitcase. Yeah, oh, Bellman suitcase. brought my suitcase up because we oh. just unloaded the truck at the store. <laughs> What oh, state are you in? moving right along. Let's drop Mike out of here so we can. Yes, we see a Mike pair of artworks, Christopher Jones. So, uh, man, this is just 
tough. Tough. I hate swapping screens Come on, on. But here we go. Ladybugs, it's it. Yeah, yeah. All right. So what do we got here for uh, round two for the two of you? Oh, yeah. Here we go. Check it out. Jason Baroni, Peacemaker, the John Cena version, and Vigilante. It's color. It's a gorgeous commission. It's signed 11 by 14, and it's only $450, and this is just a really fun color page. Look at that. Looking really tough. They're going to keep the peace, right? Chris. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> totally. <laughs> totally keeping the piece there. All right. Very That's nice. A beautiful piece. Guys. It is yeah. gorgeous. The detail yeah. is awesome. And yeah. Looks the great. use of color is cool. Looks great in person. Yeah. Yeah. He's looking at you into your soul. Very cool. This is Anthony's yeah. color round. Can you play some Spider Man? For oh, this oh, one. Go. go, Chris. Yeah. <laughs> It is Jason Brody, Spider Punk. Now this is amazing. Look at this. It is gorgeous. Four hundred fifty dollars. That is it. Four fifty. What? He's playing. I want to be sedated. <laughs> I think so too. <laughs> Eleven by seventeen. It is so cool. This would look great on your wall. Yeah. I, I want That's this. Awesome. This is awesome. Yeah. This is so cool. Yeah. Spider Punk. Woo! Really fun. Come on. That's so awesome. Yeah. That should be gone. Mm. It's not working. I think it's why can't why can't I be there when you're selling? I want to make some comments about the art. What can we say, man? You could be you could be making comments about the art, helping him sell it. Oh, so I'm leaving you on yes. screen. Working? I'm just not yeah. on video. You can, we can hear you. Yes, okay. we, we can hear you. Interject okay. some salesmanship in there. That, that spider punk is really cool. I, I, Jason Brody is a local guy I do some business with, uh, and he's uh, <laughs> super nice to deal with and very talented. Yeah. And I love that. I love that peacemaker with the, uh, you know, the frenulum head and the vagina face. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh boy. Moving right along. Moving right along to round three with Mike leading us off. He has changed his uh, attire, everybody. He's, he's wearing a little Hulk tonight. So uh, let's, in there let's one, see what you brought 2B. here. 3B. 3B, yeah, there's some Hulk in there. Check this out, folks. A complete 1969 DC story, penciled and inked by the great Sid Green. From the story titled Top of the World, where a guy is actually help build, helping build the Empire State Building uh, in the 30s. And he's talking about his battles in World War I, about how, how scared people are, you know, that we used to work on the, on the scaffolds uh, back in the day. But beautiful, complete 1969 story titled Top of the World where a man goes back and forth between time, between his new job working on the Empire State Building and his old job battling in World War I. Just a great Silver Age, 1969, complete four-page story, just 600 bucks, folks. Sid Green was a great artist. Pencils and inks by Sid Green. So that's the first one. And the real nice splash there. Almost looks like washstone, but it's all drawn ink art there. Wow. Second one is a two-piece slot. I, they're both by Derek Robertson. Very cool. Semi-splash from Fury number five. Uh, beautiful semi-splash uh, from the story titled Chapter 5, On Your Guns. Two huge battles of Nick Fury screaming as the evil Colonel Gargaron just killed and hung his Sergeant Lee with a knife against his chest. So that's the first one. I got these in a lot just this week. And a real nice page there with beautiful Betty Mark Sampson, and the Hulk. Again, they're all by Derek Robertson, but one is inked by Jimmy Palmiotti. Uh, Jimmy Palmiotti inked the Fury page with Fury at the top screaming when his butt. No sale! No sale! Yeah! Derek Robertson and then uh, Jimmy, then uh, Tom Palmer inked the Hulk page.
You get them both. Both of them are signed by Derek Robertson at the bottom also. Six artworks for Mike in round three. All right, Mike. No takers How am I yet, the but... big spender in this show? Get them both mm -hmm. on the complete story. All art. Everything is drawn there. Everything. Indeed. All right. Moving over to uh, the Snyder residence. We're dropping Mike out here once more. Sorry, Mike. And, yep, playing musical slides Keep here. Mm -hmm. I'm keeping you in. You're in. Just try to just say something this time. All right, uh, where are we okay, at here? Keep me three, in, keep eight, me in. All right, Sean eight, Cole ah. Murphy, Sean Gordon Murphy. I mean, check it out. Yeah, right it's really awesome. Framed, it's framed, gorgeous frame. Batman watercolor commission, and it looks like there's also some ink there. It's really cool. He's coming through a door, it looks like, and I love how the bat is drawn, painted, watercolor. Cool sign commission, one thousand dollars, frame included. It's really incredible. Woo -hoo. You should put it on your wall. It's ready to hang. Ready to hang. Check it out. Yes, very awesome. Hang it. Hang, hang it up. On. Hang it up. Hang. You, you'd like this, I know. Yeah, I like right? that. You got to hang with the back. All right. And then Nightwing yeah. by Casey Jones. Number four, on four, number 23, really cool variant cover art, 11 by 17 signed. It's from 2017. And they're having a moment. He loves his gun. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> you got launches and you got Yeah. Woo! Baby. You got some fork tongue <laughs> fallacies there. Super cool. Come on. All right, guys. This world has walls, and that wall needs art. So get claiming. Here's what it looks like. Super cool. Hey, what was the size, what size on is the uh, Sean John Gordon, Gordon Murphy? Murphy? Who's, oh, who's uh, running this show? It's an 8x10, I think. Yeah, it's, it's on there. It looked a little bit no, uh, larger than the ones I know, 11 by 14. Oh, how, what is oh the yeah, the size? image is 5x8. 5x8. 5x8 art size. There you go, Jeremy. Thank you for that. Okay, moving on to round four. Dropping Anthony out. Where does that leave us with these musical squares here? <laughs> oh boy! All right, Mike. Round four over to you, sir. What do we got here? Here's my Ernie Chan of an eight round. Round. Check this out. Beautiful, beautiful pencil inked and hand colored. Beautiful pinup from 2007. Conan bailing a gorilla as a sexy babe is at the bottom, in between the legs of the gorilla. Are you kidding me? Wow! Beautiful piece, signed, dated. It's 11 by 17. As a uh, Conan battles a gorilla with a sexy babe at the bottom. All art drawn edge to edge. Check that out. This is unbelievable. Believe it or not, the whole piece is pencil and then hand colored. It's just a phenomenal, phenomenal piece. Very nice, Ernie Chan. Edge edge on 11 by 17 board, signed and dated at the bottom by the great Ernie Chan, who I think one of the most underrated artists of the 70s for sure. This next piece, Ooh La La. I, done on this is done on DC comic art board. I don't know when you're ever going to. I don't see know if DC it. would approve of this though, but we've I censored it a little bit. But obviously, Mike's image is not censored. Well, yeah, this the pasties are just a little smaller. Yeah, but uh -huh. anyway, um, uh, Spectre pencils inks, 1976. Spencer, uh, Spencer, uh. Ernie Chan from 76, the Spectre and Dr. Fate grabbing, I don't know, is that, is that Red Sonia? Who knows? Ernie Chan drew Red Sonia a little bit too, I think, inking-wise later on in his career. But that is just a phenomenal 11 by 17 piece done on DC Stockboard 7. Folks, we are talking 57, I'm, what am I saying? I'm sorry, 47 years old. Wow. I caramba. The Ernie Chan round, folks. Is that is that Red Sonia? Who knows? But holy moly! Uh oh. 
<laughs> I'm wondering Anthony's, uh, you know, checking out his luggage right now, making sure his underwear ma managed to make it to Scottsdale. Okay, let's get him off. It's a cool suitcase. <laughs> Why do you want to get me off? It's a marble suitcase. Yes, indeed. So uh, DC hey. three-way, that's two. How's my sound? Uh, <laughs> Bad. And I told my Great daughter, to put, around, folks. we couldn't find the, she How's couldn't find a pasty image from uh, these stickers from Anthony. And I told her just to put like Pikachu's face over him and she just painted big black dots on him. I'm sorry, everybody. I thought we would add something a little more humorous. And I was leaving it up to her, but we get black dots. All right. Hey, we did have an offer on Marcus. I, I saw that. I was going to highlight that. Uh, where was it? There it was. Marcus was offering you $350, I think, for both of your round one pieces. And I don't know why. Oh, Sharon has, like, left the building. Anyway. where? How much are they? I, I don't have the list. In they were six twenty five dollars for the pair. three twenty five and uh, 300 <laughs> And Sharon's not here, so you're going to have to... How about 500, Marcus? All right, Marcus. Uh, countered back 500? to you at $500. $500. And uh, as I can see, Sharon has still not returned. So we're going to have to make Anthony sell it from his, uh, his, his hotel room. So No, I don't have that stuff. You don't have to hold the art. It's on the screen all the time, dude. You yeah. picked it. Oh, you okay. know how to do go it. Ahead. You can do this. Okay, you can do go it. Ahead. Yeah, I'm uh, not you yeah. Know, Marcus was upping his uh, price. He's going up to four hundred dollars, but only if you include cake. I, Sharon is making some cookies for people to have at the show, but I mean, we can't. She can't fly with a cake. That's true. All right, Sharon, Sharon is back, so we're going to drop Mike You're out. Lost. And and fortunately, we don't have to. Have Anthony try to sell it because his audio keeps cutting in and out. Okay, I'm trying. Yep. Yeah. All right. Well, so uh, sorry, Marcus. I guess we're sitting at five hundred dollars for the pair still. All right. Going over to round four. Back to the Schneider Anton. What do we got here at four A for them? Four A. Woo! Michael Bandini, X Men Gold, number twenty six, page thirteen. As you can see, it's about eleven. By 16, signed, $750. There's a lot of action and a lot of detail going on in this page. Great splash. Yeah. I love that. What do you love about it, Chris? Just the whole perspective of it. It's right? great. Yeah. It's really cool. Really awesome. Lots of darks. Lots yeah. Of grays. It really stands out. It's, it's really cool. Yeah, it's a great page. Lots happening. Yeah, Zipatone yeah. on there as well, it looks like. So that's cool. Uh, it does look like that. It looks like it, but it's not. Not. It looks like it, but it's not. All right. Let well, let's take a look at the next artwork here. The 4B artwork. What do we got here? Another thing artwork. This time yeah, with the Hulk. Yeah, we it's love the rude. thing. Here's a Hulk smash page for you and Super Thing. Really cool, Steve Rude. This is a commission. It's 11 by 14, and it is signed right there, a thousand dollars. And this is definitely Zipatone. I was gonna say that'd be hard not to be a okay. print if it wasn't, but uh, okay, yeah, Zipatone on that. Like in the legs and stuff, you can really see it. Yeah. Thank you, Chris. This is great. It is, and this is too timeless. <laughs> Really awesome. Yeah. All right. Uh, Hulk uh, is kicking the thing in the back. Definitely a, a party file there, but, uh, you know, is what it is. Yeah. We're the playing hopscotch. It could be. I know how that feels. Leapfrog. <laughs> it's leapfrog. Yeah. All right. Let me pull Mike back in here. So uh, where was uh, – there was a couple comments or – questions or whatever uh, oh comic art boston said anthony uh claim 3a can the piece be taken out of the frame yeah of course sure you're good with that yeah sure whatever you want whatever you want cab okay well then uh comic art boston they can uh, take it out of the frame for you so i assume that's a claim on on uh the 3a 
Yay! Yay! Thank you very much. Thank you so yeah. much. And uh, I saw Frank made an offer to Mike on his 4B at $900. Mike did counter at $1,000 in the chat. And Frank I said, had 1200 on this, folks. I'll lower it to 1000 uh, And Frank came back and said 900 again. So, uh, yes, it's been countered, Frank, at $1,000. Thank you for the uh, two offers there. And... Uh, Ah, so the, so here you go. It wasn't Comic Art Boston wasn't claiming it. He was he wanted to know about the uh, about the frame, even though he was mentioning claim. He said claim in his text, but here he's he's ask, he's offering you eight fifty on the Sean Gordon Murphy. All right, let's do nine hundred then, and I'll take it out for you. Nine hundred, and I'll take it out. There we go. Back to you, Comic Art Boston. Thank you for the offer on that. Uh, Gerd wants to know if uh, Chris uh, can pull off a rift of paranoid while uh, the next time Sharon is trying to sell some artwork. Uh, that's that's a no, Gerd. No. I'm sorry. How about some Zeppelin? Ze pick something from Zeppelin. All right, Comic Art Boston has said okay on the uh, 3A $900 Sean Gordon. Hey. Thank you, Comic Art Boston. Hey, Bill. Yes, sir. Bill, I, I, I got my laptop in my suitcase, so I'm going to switch off here and uh, log back in on my laptop. Okay, give it Can a try. I'm, dro I'm dropping, yeah, just barely. I'm dropping you out. Everybody heard that. He's coming back with his laptop. Yeah. Okie dokie. Moving right along to round five. The $2,000 and up rounds have begun. Mike, you've only got one sale so far tonight, Mike, and that was to Anthony. So uh, you gotta you gotta pick up yeah, your game. Yeah, we've all been watching the show, Bill. We know that. Hey, I'm I, I'm color Come commentating. On. Come on, it's yeah. like Howard Cosell. Give me a break. Okay. All right, Mike. Let's see. Uh, round five. Over to you. Here's your five A. Very cool. Russ Heath, Army at War, 1969, Silver Age page from our Army at War, uh, 214. This is from the Sergeant Rock story. Uh, titled Easy Company, where are you? The nice, nice page features the Easy Company medic being chased by Nazis and re reliving when he was a kid being chased by cops. But Pencil and Inks, Russ Heath, 1969. I saw a, uh, I saw a page earlier tonight on Heritage, uh, just a year earlier than this, sold for $2,640 from this one year earlier from issue one, one eight in the, in the 180s. So, uh, very, very cool piece. Russ Heath, hard to find his war stuff is going bonkers. The Kubert and Heath war stuff is really sought after. So very cool page from 1969. We are talking 54 years old. So that's the first one. Second one for you, Jim Apero, 70s fans. 50 years old again. We got Mr. Miracle on every panel as this girl he saves this girl, and she does the she the femme fatale pulls the pulls the, the the trigger and tries to kill Mister Miracle, who then the escape artist he is appears right behind her to stop her from shooting him in the back. Are you kidding me? From Brave and Bold, uh, number one twelve from nineteen seventy three, from the story titled "The Impossible Escape," Mister Miracle and all six panels walking through the maze. Ingrid Borg, that she tries to. Double cross him and shoot him in the back, and he gets her at the end. I simply thought the climate would be healthier behind you. Very, very cool piece. Both a pair of pencil and inks, Heath pencil and inks, folks. And there's Anthony. How am boring. I now? Uh, you're not. You're not no. moving. How am I now? <laughs> it's actually, it's actually worse than the other uh, than your phone or whatever. You're no, fuzzy. Oh, really. You're fuzzy and you're, you're behind. You're delayed. You're yeah, the other one's better. Yeah. Switch it back, sir. That's what you get on Wi-Fi. That's how it is, man. You look younger, fuzzy, though. <laughs> really? I I, I thought focus. it looked a little bit older myself, but yeah, uh, me too. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, we'll drop. Uh, I guess we're gonna have to drop Anthony out. Do you want? Do you want to hang in, Anthony? Because uh, it's probably not gonna work very well unless you switch He's back. He's all to locked the, up. But I didn't load the meme where Anthony's uh, frozen either. Darn it. 
I thought about loading that one tonight too. I should have. Yeah, Anthony's frozen. <laughs> he is frozen solid. Doggone it, I didn't. I was double checking. I didn't load that one. Shoot. All right. Well, Anthony, we're going to drop you out here for uh, the end of round five. Is that all right? Or do you want to try? No, he's Go not. Ahead. He's not. He's not communicative. Go okay. ahead, me. I'm dropping. How about now? That's yeah, good. There you are. Hi. Oh, well, I now? guess. Okay. Hey, there you it's, are. it's getting hey. better. All right, I'll Yay. drop Mike out. We'll see how it How's goes. How's my sound? Can you hear me? All right, Mike. Jokes? We're dropping you, buddy. Oh boy. Look at that. Round five. Moving things around for round five. Joe. Oh Stanton. boy. Uh, yes, let me get it highlighted here for you before you sell it. Here we go. Oh, look at this. It's an unused cover from Die Kitty Die. Joe Staten. It's signed down there and it's 11 by 17. It's really fun. Look at it. It's like cocaine bear. And Anthony would say that that's me. And there's, there's bear versus food. cocaine bear. <laughs> and a rattlesnake. Oh no, this looks oh, very no. scary. Uh oh. That's a clean page. Uh -oh. So, yeah, that's great. Yeah, it's very good. Very, very cool. Yeah. She's falling. Looks like down a mountain. I love his art. Yeah. Yeah, really cool. Lots of energy in this page. It's fun, fun, yeah. fun. Broken tree. Cocaine bear. How can you yeah. go wrong? Right? Very cool. Love it. Wow, Very nice. This. this is really cool. And oh yeah, broom broom baby. Ha <laughs> ha! Bob Ostner, the daring new adventures of Supergirl, number twelve, page six twenty six. Check it out. What's better than girls on motorcycles? Not much. <laughs> Very cool. One thousand two hundred and fifty dollars, and this could be yours. It's really, really, yeah. really cool. Great splash. And Zipatone. Very fun on the boot. I want a boot like that. Boots like that would be cool. It's like I got like a blow. He's going to do a blow dart or something at that in that last uh, panel. Yeah, or, it does look or that like Or he's going to do a line or, or something. Very large I don't know. Cigar. Egg, or, yeah, it could be a very large cigar. <laughs> no. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, Evil man. Knievel approved. <laughs> All right. Come on, you little squirt. Hand it over. Didn't make it into the Indiana Jones movie. <laughs> Left on the cutting room floor. All right. Dropping uh, Anthony out this time. Mike. Like I know you're ready. I'm always ready. He's, you were born ready here for round six. Back to Hulk. Back to Hulk for for B. I was gonna say for B, not A. Check this out, folks. Beautiful full painting. The great Felipe Massafera done on fourteen by seventeen. Huge artboard. Beautiful, beautiful painted piece. Get a lot of those skulls in the background too. <laughs> that is freaking awesome. Beautiful Felipe Massafera painted piece. Uh, the Punisher shooting both guns at the same time with three great skulls. Signed and dated at the bottom, and it's done on 14 by 17 inch large artboard. Doesn't get much better than that, folks. If you want a beautiful piece by the great Brazilian artist Felipe Massafera. And this was done in 2020, so it's a little older. Yeah, nice price, nice band-aid on his forehead. Yeah, believe it or not, a guy wanted me to sell this on my site for hire, and I just bought it from him, and then I lowered the price. So I thought that'd be a good deal for somebody. Beautiful painting. Next piece, Hulk round. Ah, beautiful semi-splash. Check that out with Incredible Hulk, Hercules Unleashed, number one, page 27. That's Hercules there throwing a manhole cover that chink bounces right off the chest of the Hulk. Very, very cool piece. There are two little inset panels at the top with Herc, and then he throws it at the Hulk. Uh, this is from 1996. It's amazing when you think about it. This piece is now 27 years old. 
from the story titled In the Shadow of Argo. It clanks off the chest just like Bill Cox was throwing it at the Hulk. Ugh. Oh, smash. Beautiful Mike Diodato splash page, folks. 1500 bucks. It's a nice one. Who doesn't like Diodato? Mm -hmm. And there's uh, Anthony. He's still texting. Yeah. Oh, boy. Dropping you out, Mike. <laughs> Moving on to round six. Here we go. Sharon, is it Sharon? Sharon's got the artwork still. Or yeah, is Sharon there? still got them. My last two. Go, Sharon. Come on, sell some stuff. All right, here we go. We've got Storm and Lightning. She's using her powers. Whoa, and it's gorgeous. Scott Hanna does an amazing job with this ink here, and it looks almost watercolory. I love the background. It's so so cool. Love it. Beautifully painted, 11 by 17. And of course, it's signed in his fabulous way. It's got Hannah signs his name. I love that. And the use of color is just incredible. Love it. This could be yours. $1,000 on your wall. It's ready, ready to go. Yeah. Ready to go. Beautiful. Right, Anthony? Beautiful, beautiful. It definitely beautiful, is. beautiful. And it's very watercolory. It is. Oh, it's oh, right. Okay. It's watercolory, actually. Nudie Woody. Uh -oh. Nudie Woody. Don Get some Woody. Gorgeousness. All right. It's Tony. Des How do you say that, Anthony? Desaniga. Desaniga. Really cool. This is larger, 15 by 20. And of course, look, he, he signed it. And it's beautiful, gorgeous. Another pair of gorgeous boots. <laughs> she's gorgeous. There Remember when we first see Storm, she's naked on that little mound where she's being worshipped as a goddess in Giant Size X-Men 1. Oh, beautiful. Brian, I think my daughter did not notice that uh, Storm was nude in this one. She thought How that was not a sneak I don't know. It's an angled photograph. I don't know. It looks, maybe that's a slingshot in her right hand. I don't know. What can I tell you? What can I tell you? And it was Emma. Emma did the editing on these. She forgot the black dots on it. I don't know. It is it's what it is. It's done. I don't think it's too bad. I think mm. it's, it's yeah, done. she blacked out in mine. It, it didn't have uh, Dr. Fate you know, ripping at her arm or anything yeah, what, over there. What, what was going on there? It's who's going to abuse that uh, redheaded woman the, the most there? It's like, I don't get that. Well, the one was trying to save the other from the other. I don't know. But uh, oh, yeah. Piano Wizardry wanted to offer you $1,000. Right, uh, Paul, oh. hey, I got, I, I had to, I had to go. Oh, 11. Yeah. All right. 11's good. All right. I was going to. Oh, Paul, why'd you do that? He was going to accept the 1000 no, I was not going to accept a thousand. Oh. I was going to counter at eleven, and Paul uh, did that. And let's go with that. Thank you, Paul. All right. So Paul Pappas has picked up five B for eleven hundred dollars. Congrats, can Paul. I, can I withdraw my claim on that other one? So Mike has a no. zero. <laughs> no, you can't. You knew you were going to buy that anyway. You knew you were going to buy that. Um, the moment I saw it, and you know, hours I, before the show, I knew you were going to buy that. I'm in a casino, so I already tried to play cards a little bit and craps and lost. Mm. All right. Well, talk about speaking of uh, what do we got here? Anthony Thank crapping you. out of the screen here. Bringing that around there and that around there. Round seven, Mike. Round seven, you get to lead us off. What on earth did you bring? Check this out, you Todd McFarlane fans. The Infinity Incorporated art. This is the stuff he did just one year before he went to Marvel to start drawing the Hulk, and then one year before Spidey. Very, very cool page from uh, Infinity Incorporated number 28 uh, from the story titled Uncivil Wars. How about that? Years, Just a few year, years before the Marvel, 20 years before Marvel did it. Uncivil Wars. This great page features the man shark, Kacharo, talking with Penny Dreadful. As we also see Critter and Mora and another Infinity Inc. team member. I couldn't figure out who it was. These are drawn large art, folks. 12 by 18 image on 13 by 19.4 inch artboard. Beautiful piece done one just one to two years before he started drawing Spider-Man in 1988. Very, very cool. With Spider-Man 
pages going for record prices, this stuff is, is going to start jumping because you can't find the Spidey pages anymore. Great team members there for Infinity Incorporated. So that's the first one. And check this out. This is large art. John Romita Sr. actually drew the droid's first issue. He did the stories in that. So this is from 1985 large art, uh, uh, 13 by 20 inch art, uh, 14 by 20 inch art for 12 by 18 art image. Beautiful piece from the storyteller of the Destroyer. This page features the very first appearance of Josh, Josh Allen, who is the main character of the droid series. He's there with R2-D2 as they activate Ranger X-1, who, who ultimately helps defeat the dark forces of the Empire. But anyway, this belongs in a museum! Is that anyway, right, Mike? John Romita Sr. Large Art Page from 1985, 38 years old. Wow. Both of them are large art, folks. They are large. There's a McFarland fan out there somewhere, and also a few Ramita Senior fans. Okay, we're moving over to uh, the Schneider residence once more. Scooby is hanging out in the back there. Rich has left the building, at least temporarily. So I'm going to drop you out, Mike, and get them started on their round seven stuff. Man, switch and switch and switch. All right, here we go. Round seven, over to you, Sharon. Sharon, you look so cute. Is it Sharon? Is it or who's holding the artwork now? I got it. I got I got the Philip Tan cover now. Ah, okay. So let's go that route. Here we go. All right. So this is a Philip Tan Batman Beyond cover. Really cool with these kind of stone uh, figures everywhere and other monster animal monsters attacking him. Uh, it's just a great moving and grooving image uh, of Batman Beyond, a uh, very popular co uh, character with, and it's a Virgin variant cover, a Virgin variant cover. So there you go. Yeah. Very, very nice. What? What's so funny? I like the sound bugs. Yeah. Yeah. You like Virgin variants? I do. Pretty cool. I love yeah. the, the faces there. The, it's awesome. All right. So uh, remember, if you've got anybody in Phil in the uh, Phoenix area that wants to come by and see me tomorrow, I'm at Fantastic Worlds in Scottsdale. All right. So that was uh, this is uh, by Ethan Van Siver or EVS as we like to call him. If you don't want to say his full name and uh, uh, out loud, and then. It's a 52 Aftermath, four horsemen cover. Look at the detail on this. Can you go full screen on this? It's incredible. Feeding time. Can you go full screen on this, Bill? Take the post it off. And full screen at it. That's full screen? That doesn't do it justice. Uh, you know, it. this is... Wow. Nice. Nice. No! Oh, look how oh. young and cute I was. That was only a year ago. <laughs> now I think fuzzy. that was almost two and a half years ago. Really? Yeah. Yes, indeed. A oh, lot of water what? under the bridge since then, Mr. Cox. Mm -hmm. well, we're moving on to round eight now. One round until cake break. But I think it's cookie break tonight again, everybody. So uh, let's drop. Sharon's been so busy. Anthony out of this right now. And then, here we go. Playing musical squares again. And it's time for the Hulk. Oh, my gosh. And is that is that a... We have, Ms. Ms. Doc. we have a Moy Doc appearance here. Are you kidding me? Oh, my goodness. Me? Here, let's highlight this. Get a load of Moy Doc. Just so you know, Pete, folks, this is a great page uh, from 290. It's the first appearance of Mr. Moy Mo 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 Doc. These three panels, they're drawn underneath. They just reversed it. They have they had this is panel one, this is panel two, and this is panel three. But all the original art's right underneath it. They just moved the panels over. But it's all art, beautiful, uh, from 1980. Wait, I'm sorry. Wait, what, what year was this from? Uh, from 1983, sorry. Fifth, 40 years old. Are you kidding me? From the book Pencils and Ink Salvis, or from the book Unholy Alliance. First appearance ever of Miss Monarch. And this is the death of the Abomination page. They actually killed the Abomination on this very page. 
Hulk appears in four panels as Modoc kills the abomination in this very page. The th and uh, of course, the three middle panels are stats covering all the original artwork. But a great first Miss Modoc and the death of Abomination page. All there. 40 years old. Are you kidding me? Wow. We would not kid you, Mike. And the next page, the great Bill St. Kevis from 1982. This is 41 years old. Get a load of this page. Uh, from the story titled Assault on Island Strange. This page features Moon Knight um, as Mark Spector and French, and they purposely go to prison. Then they break out, and you get to see Moon Knight in the last panel in silhouette. Uh, they change it in the costume, and he leaves and breaks out of the prison at the bottom. It's just a great page with Marlene infiltrating Nimrod's operation and Moon Knight running in the last panel. Uh as he changed from the previous panel, Mark Spector and Frenchie are all at the top. So great. Forty year old Hulk page, forty one year old Bill Sinkevich Moon Knight page. Wow. Wow. Well, we loaded that uh Moidoc or Mike Doc uh, video there just just for you, Mike. I had to have that Modoc. Oh yeah. Madam Madame Doc, what's her name? Madame Doc. <laughs> Madam Duck, Madam Duck. She's called Miss Modoc. Ms. Modoc. Oh my God. Ms. Modoc. I saw Ms. Pac-Man was better than Miss Modoc. I think I saw in the chat. Probably. Rick oh West hell started. yeah, Ms. Pac-Man ruled. It did. It did. Uh, all right. So what do we got? Round eight over to, to uh, you, uh, Anthony, and then we've uh, got our cookie or cake break. So let's see. I got to drop Mike out here. Sorry, Mike. We'll see you in a moment. Wave those art. Yep, there we go. We saw them. Uh, let's see. Get Anthony over here. And uh... <laughs> I don't know where anybody is. Yes, exactly. It's all very confusing tonight. But here we go. Let's oh, see. you're so confused. What do you got here, Anthony? It's Epstein, Mo Dam. Okay. So look at this. If you're Steve Epstein and a Captain America fan and Avengers, wow. Look at that. Cap, Hercules, Black Widow, and then this whole team shot with, uh, oh man, so many characters. Beast, Vision, uh, Crystal, Black Panther. Wow. For some. Look at that. <laughs> so what a great Avengers page. How do you say that? That sound for some for some for some, mm. for some. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Yeah. That's you. all right now they're staying in the captain america universe wow look at this ush and three page one so i mean what a classic classic pose you got going on here bloodlines bloodlines and cap cap uh i mean well it's u.s agent in the jungle southeast asia what am i doing here i don't remember how did i get here oh look at that pose that is one wall quality splash look at that no cake for you eat it I don't think there was any dressing on that salad at all. No, I that's would... my new diet. <laughs> no well, well, we know what time it is, Sharon. It's time Yay! for cake break. But uh, oh my God. Right you are the it's cutest thing in the world. <laughs> I made oh. gluten-free chocolate chip, chocolate chunk cookies, and I'm packing mm -hmm. them up. Because I'm going to bring some to the Comic Con. Gonna yum, bring yum. Some. Would you like one? I would. Yay. Yeah. Thank I you. I'm going to bring like packs of cookies. I like these little packages too. Yeah. Fancy. And gluten free. And, and gluten free. Because I want to see us. Does that mean smile. no glue? No gluten. <laughs> I'm going to bring different flavors too, I think. 
got to make some more <laughs> batches for the Comic Con and pack them in my suitcase and hope. Wasn't gluten one of those safe. early Marvel big monsters? I don't know. <laughs> if not, he should have been. Yeah. The return of gluten. Yeah, I want to have one too. Yum yum. Mm. Gluten bomb. That sounds like a, a, a Roger Corman movie, The Return of Gluten. Glutan. <laughs> He Ooh, probably man, that's even know. better, yeah. I, I can't open this. <laughs> it's got a yeah, proof lock on it, Chris. Just pretend it's a condom oh. package. Uh, that's why I can't. That'll open. get you motivated. You need a glass of milk, Chris? Cheers. Cheers. I haven't had Thank dinner you, yet. <laughs> Thank you, Derek. <laughs> uh, you're not bringing any diaper bombs this year, right, Anthony? No. No, no diaper bombs. If you're not there to host the diaper of the bombage, then, you know, I, you know, it's all for you, Bill. I do it all for you. Oh, it's not just me. It's your adoring fans, too. Uh, um, yeah, yeah. But, so, you know, so you don't need me there, but that's okay. That's okay. Just take pictures of anything... Uh, uh that anthony does and you i know you'll send me a lot of photographs yep. gluten maximus oh boy look at that <laughs> look at that i think they're rubbing their bellies for good luck my name is marcus aurelius father to a murdered child husband to a murdered wife and i will have my revenge in this life or the next okay where was that from? I think he said next. So it's time to drop uh, him out of the chat here so we can get uh, on with round nine. Nine. Let me get this thing well, out I of here. I didn't realize how much Hulk we have tonight. Now you got a lot of Hulk tonight, Mike. What's up with that? This is the last Hulk, though. All right. Let's well, see what you brought for out, the 9A. Oh, my Lord. Pet Linux from 1980. Do you like Doc Samson? Doc Samson and the Hulk battling throughout as a team. Are you kidding me? From Hulk 243, Pencil Makes by Sal Buscema from the story titled Trial by Monster. This incredible page features the Hulk and Doc Samson both battling the changelings, Pantheris and Elephantine. Are you kidding me? All art, all phenomenal. That's great, a stuff great, of nightmare great right Pencil there, Pencil Makes by Sal Buscema and Sign. Wow. Frightening, Mike. Salvia. Again, folks, 43 years old. Are you kidding me? Wowza. No. Or as Pantheris, and that's one of the, I think that's Neptunus who goes after Pantheris there in the third panel. Neptuno? Really there's a lot nice of bricks in this one too, Mike. What's that? So there's a lot of bricks in this one. Uh, Yeah, those are more stones than bricks, I think. But yeah. yeah, kind of the same, kind of the same. But very, very cool piece and sign. So that's the first one. And the second one, I love uh, John Basema. John Basema Nova pages. Very few, you know, he did the first couple issues, and then he did later, oddly enough, and Sal took over. Beautiful page with Nova in, let me see, Nova is in five of the six panels. Ink by John Basema pencils, Bob McLeod inks from the story titled The Shocking Secret of Nova. So Nova's in five or six panels as he flies and rescues his father and brother who don't know that he's that Nova is their brother. So he flies and takes them both to the hospital, making sure he doesn't reveal his secret identity to his brother and father. As yeah, sort of cool, it was in there. The robot Shirley from Sherlock Holmes makes an appearance also there in panel four, trying to solve who Nova is. But just a great, great, great page with Nova flying in the first panel, flying in the second panel. He comes up to his dad in the fourth panel, picks him up, and takes him all and flies to the hospital. Wow. That's his hand in the third panel, too, Mike. John Basema Nova from 1978. Are you kidding me? Brought a Fellers lot of Bronze nothing. Age tonight, folks. People are not liking the Bronze Age tonight. Where's your good heart, Chris? Come on. 
Oh my goodness. I caramba. Hey everybody. Uh, Nick's been saying it in the chat, but I haven't said it yet. You know, you can hit that thumbs up so we can get over a hundred likes meme, already. Bill? What's Where's that? The Hulk smash meme. You got to play that Hulk smash meme, smashing the like button. Every show you should have that. Man, I don't know where that one is. I got to find it. It's in the what archives the? somewhere. But uh, remember, everybody, thumbs up. hit the thumbs up. You, you're enjoying this show. And you're not going to get to do it next week. There's no uh, Dueling Dealers next week. So hit, everybody should be hitting that thumbs up right now. Over 200 people are watching the show. We should be at, at least 150 by now. Yeah, everybody should quit pacing themselves and claim. And claim. All right, Mike, dropping you out. There we go. We've got Anthony all queued up. He's got his head nicely shaved for this round. And uh, did it before I left. So I'd be nice and clean cut. Nice. Good job, Sharon. Thank you. She likes the razor. Use the dog's clipper. <laughs> yeah. That overheats and burns my head. Well, now I know that it does that to Josie, so it's good. All good right. So we got a really cool Quasar page, and look who's lurking in the background. Oh, my God. It's the Thanos. And Whoa. the notes on this is that this was all four Quasars, Marvel Boy, with an Infinity Gauntlet crossover. Wow, look at that. So, Dave Hoover and Fred Frederick's Quasar with the Thanos, 11 by 17, 1991. It's fantastic. Fantastic, Bill. Fantastic. It is like the, Thanos had so much to say, they couldn't uh, work those word balloons right. It's like that. The guy's left leg is the thing talking there in that last set of word balloons because Thanos couldn't shut up. But it's all right. That's an awesome page, man. Look at that. Quasar 26, page 21. From 1991. You like your Thanos. All right. Next up, what do we got here? Oh, another splash of goodness. We're splashing eat good to death in that Olympia. Olympia. Look at this. Paul, Ryan, and Tom Palmer, Avengers 310, page one, title splash. 11 by 7. And Odin. Look at Odin. Come forth. Wow. <laughs> Sitting on the throne. Another wall quality, fantastic Marvel goodness splash. This is from what? 89? Even better. Fantastic. This is Odinistic. 34 years old. Is that all 34? That's what no. I. Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Is that 34? Yeah. It's a great Look page. at that. So Odin is saying, come forth. <laughs> uh, Johnny McCloskey said, I wonder what Anthony's hotel neighbors are thinking right now. Is he shouting? I'm yelling and screaming. They're going to send up security any minute. <laughs> Do you have bald walls at home? Well, we have just the cure. Get claimy on the Dueling Dealers of Comic Book Art! Yeah! <laughs> They do like Anthony says. And also, don't forget to hit that thumbs up down below, everybody. We need some more likes. I guess we went from over 100. Now we're at 115. I don't know where we're at now. But 150. We can't stop until we hit 150. Everybody's yeah. got to go. Yeah. Go, 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 go. <laughs> All right. Now, Mike, it's over to you for round 10, sir. Round, round 10. 10. And I, I think you got some uh, – I know you got a Kirby here at least to get us started. Got two Kirbys. Here. Two Kirby's. Here we go. Check this out. Think about this, folks. Jack Kirby drew Hitler on the cover to Captain America number one in 1941. And here, 33 years later, in 1974, he draws Hitler. And he also draws Henrik Himmler, Heinrich Himmler and General Erwin Rommel all on the same splash page. And signs it as well. Are you kidding me? From our fighting forces, number 153, the page one splash. Pencil by Jack Kirby, ink by Mike Royer, from the story title, Big Max. Again, Jack Kirby drawing Adolf Hitler once again after Captain America number one cover way back when. 
just a great piece. It's one of the Art Fighting Forces guys, uh, his secret, and he gets captured in the last panel. Oh, no, are you kidding me? But I love that it's signed by Jack also. Very, very cool. This is almost 50 years old. It's 49 years old. Great piece with Jack Kirby drawing Adolf Hitler and Heinrich Himmler and Rommel from the Art Fighting Forces, page one splash. And the last piece, now this is a doozy of doozies. Are you kidding me? From Thor 177, from the story title To, to End in Flames. This awesome page features Thor in five of the six panels as he battles the evil, evil fire giant Surtur. Thor and engulfed in flames as he busts open a water dam in panels two through five. And then in panel six, you get you get Loki and Sif in the first appearance of the evil wizard, Igron. Get a load of that, folks. For Odin and the Golden Realm! Wow! <laughs> Are you kidding me? Thor in panel one. Thor in panel two. Thor swinging his hammer. Thoom in panel three. Thor smashing the dam. Let the sea burst forth in all its fury. Let the flames of Surtur be engulfed. <laughs> and then, uh, and then uh, Loki, Sip, and Ikron in the last panel. See, there's Loki. We knew he made, uh, made an Loki appearance there, somewhere in there. Sixth panel. Look at that. The top five, Loki, Sip, and Ikron in the last one. Just a great page. Wow. So that's a Come on, little chum. Kirby page. <laughs> you had a question about that uh, Kirby page, the uh, losers page. What was it? Where did it go? Uh, Brian? Yeah, it's Art, Art glued onto another board. That's how they did it. Right. The three panels. Regular, it's regular. It's regular 70s board on the back, and that's how they did it. All right. Hey, it's not time to show that yet. Everybody's used to Mike being last. So you put the scores back up, uh, production. There we go. All right, now Anthony gets to show his round 10 stuff, and then we move on into the recap. Yeah, who told Mike to put up those Kirby's in round 10? I don't get it. I don't know. You guys, you, you guys, I told myself. Talk. You guys talk. I don't know. It's uh, it's a mystery to me. Really? Okay, That's here so we go. Funny. You ready, sir? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, so we like Black Lightning, you like Rich Buckler, you like. Ugh. 1977 bronze age goodness whoa with a, cool black lightning with, with, a, clark kent. with a, some clark kent tv action yeah all right so uh, we've got a black lightning cover by buckler and coletta with that weird weird dude kind of <laughs> <laughs> he is a weird looking dude. Like an yeah. egghead. Who is that guy? Kind of looks like, uh, I don't know, a DC version of Kingpin, but he's like. Kind of Jabba the Hutt ish. Yeah. Anybody know his name? All right. So. Someone in the chat has to know. Pulling, pulling uh, the whale. Marcus, Marcus I'm the whale at this there casino. That's a big egghead. Head. And we've got a Jack Kirby Thor page from Anthony. Yeah, these guys don't talk between shows. No, we don't. Nope. Anyway, so yeah, I just picked this up this week. This is from uh, issue 164. I love that number, one, 164, right, Sharon? Yeah, you birthday. My birthday. You're the cutest thing on earth. I love you. I, I miss you. you. I miss you. Uh, Solid, Anthony. Call me later. <laughs> you have the floor in your hand, and you're you're making googly eyes at Sharon. Googly goo eyes. Look, it's tis Pluto, and look, is a horde of Plutos, and uh, look at ninety five hundred, and signed by the king. Look at that. Oh, eleven by sixteen. Whoa. Cool signature. So oh, that's my yes. round 10 Jack Kirby Thor page as well. You got wow. Thor, you got a great villain, and you got a lot of action. Rock. 
with the signature of and a good price at 9500 and we can do pickup in san diego Yes, you can. And Jason, he's still he's got three couches to dig out fifteen thousand dollars. He really liked that page he had, Mike. But he's oh, he's, just look through your love seat for ninety five hundred. Flipping the uh, cushions right now, looking for that fifteen. I don't know. So I uh, now I want to see that. They both do time payments better than anybody in the hobby. That is so true, and we know nobody's leaving. But these, this is the email addresses for both of these gentlemen. But uh, we've got a big recap ahead of us, so I know. That nobody's going anywhere because, uh, hey, it's that time of the evening where, where we get ready for. Okay. Well, I'm ready. I hope everybody else is ready. Mike, you got some work to do tonight, my friend. Oh, uh, good. It'll can I cancel that Diego. claim, please? No, you can't cancel the claim. <laughs> it's going to bring you good luck tonight when you're playing cards. No take backs. All right, I'm dropping Anthony out of here so he can, uh, he can compose himself for the recap. <laughs> Let me swing some things around here. All right, so we, we've got 19 pieces to look at tonight, Mike. Uh, let's see here. Let me get... Uh, oh, and see, Flob has also said that uh, you can vouch for your, your uh, sincerity on the time payments. You're very fair. Thank and you, I would agree. <laughs> Paul, Paul wants Anthony to get a room, but he already has one. So, okay, now, <laughs> now we can get this thing started here. Where is Mike's first one? It's a pair of artworks. Just You've us, already dropped yeah. these to 300 Mike. 300 bucks on the pair. I'll tell you what, folks, I'll do 275 on the pair. Beautiful, beautiful by Carlos Eduardo Acuna. Acuna, beautiful pinups, each 11 by 17. Both of them are penciled and inked and hand colored by Carlos Eduardo Acuna. C U N H A. Beautiful pieces. He's a professional, 11 by 17. 275, you get them both. Wow. I thought those were beautiful pieces. 11 by 17. for the pair, folks. All right, 275 for the pair, all in color. Ooh la la, as Mike would say. 275. And only eight more likes until Cyclops quitting the X-Men. Come on, everybody, hit that thumbs up. All right, if it helps, I'll go 250 for tonight only. I'll go 250 on the pair. All right, 250 on Mike's one A pair of artworks. Now, one B did sell. So now we got this. What do we got? Uh uh yeah the early 10 1980 folks hulk doing the during the 1980 olympics i I think i thought this might have been in a marvel treasury i wasn't able to find it but uh it's pencils and inks and it looks like a it's a finished piece this isn't a sketch for somebody i believe this was published this couldn't find out from where but i believe it was a treasury but 1980 ernie chan pencil and inks this is 43 years old folks Four hundred bucks. Oh, I'll go three fifty. Oh, we got a. Cl- oh, that was Anthony. <laughs> That's Anthony reminding us that he. I'll do claimed- three fifty on this, folks. I'll do three fifty on this. I forgot to mention three fifty. I'll do on that. That is, it's a unique piece, As Mike. I, I will give you that. Parallel bars. What? What we do you think the? Uh, what do you think the judge is shouting in the background? And the girl freaking out looks like a little offshoot of Wonder Girl. No, oh, he's not shouting. He's he's giving the hand uh, to the face going, what the heck? Hand to the, yeah, oh boy. Beautiful Peace piece, three fifty, folks. This might be published. If it's published, that's like a thousand dollar plus piece. Three fifty, I'll go on that. All right, three fifty. I'm Mike's two. Wow, I'm right, sure one. somebody wants oh. that one. Sorry, I clicked on the wrong thing here. There we go. Two pages, beautiful. Batman battling Bane throughout four panels. Batman and Joker. I have six hundred. I'll go five hundred on this, folks. Very, very cool. Great belt. Both of them by Christopher Jones and Terry Beatty. I don't know why we don't have their full names like Anthony always gets. I'm gonna have to talk to Bill after the show about that. But anyway, Christopher Jones and Terry Beatty. Um, beautiful pieces from issue number four and uh, issue number uh, sixteen. The great fate is Joker and Batman throughout. So five hundred dollars on the pair, Mike. 
Uh, I'll do four seventy five on the pair. Four seventy five. All right, four seventy five for the uh, two. Ryan, if you can find out which treasury, let me know. I'm curious. Four seventy five on that. All right, four seventy five on Mike's two B. Next up, three A. That was the complete four page story by Sid Green from Our Army at War. Nineteen sixty nine, four page. Nineteen sixty nine, six hundred on it. I will go five hundred bucks on it. This is all art. Look at the detail on that thing. I love the architecture. It's all art. Everything is drawn on every page. 1969, Sid Green. Get a look, look at those, look at those tank panels and everything. That is gorgeous looking art. Wow. 500 bucks. That all ink? Any zipatone on there or anything other than? No, that's all ink. I said there's no zipatone. It's all ink. It's amazing what he did. Five hundred dollars for the complete story. Wow. One twenty-five a page. Oh, this is fifty-four years old. Five hundred bucks. Uh, Gabe Carino claimed the Hulk. I was just going to highlight that. Thank you, Gabe. So Gabe has picked Thanks, up two eighty at three fifty. And uh, if anybody figures out what that uh, Treasury edition they advertise it in, that would probably make Gabe a happy man to know if that piece was also published. Yes, I believe it's published. It's too nice to not be published. It's a All finished right. piece. Now we're going over to these uh, pair of artworks by Derek Robertson for your 3B, Mike. These are both Derek Robertson. Uh, um, Jimmy Palmiotti inked. Uh, wait, let me come back. Jimmy Palmiotti think the Fury screaming as the evil colonel killed his friend and stuck him up on a wall. And there's the published image there on the bottom right. Very, very cool. Fury uh, and the evil colonel uh, Gargarin. And then this one with Betty. Samson Hulk. I have 600 on him. I'll go 500 for the pair. Beautiful. Hulk, Samson, Betty Ross. Derek Robertson inked by Tom Palmer. Derek Robertson uh, uh Inked by Jimmy Palmiotti. Very cool. Great pages, both of them. 500 for the pair. Oh, and... I uh, think they're 275 each, I guess. Oh, okay, we got them all. Okay, good. Yes, well, we've got uh, Nick Berucci claiming 3B. The I pair of Derek for the pair. I think those are great pages. Congratulations, Mr. Berucci. Palmer inks, those are doozies. Thanks, Nick. All right, next up, we got that color Ernie Chan with the ape. It's amazing. You know, I just realized on this, this entire piece is pencil. Pencils and then color pencil. That's unbelievable. The entire piece is pencil. I can't believe it. It's all pencil, even the backgrounds. I thought it was marker. It's pencil. That's amazing. I have 750 on it. I'll do 650 on it, 11 by 17, edge to edge. Sexy babe almost getting trounced by the gorilla as, as a knife. Uh, uh, Conan with a knife getting ready to try to save the girl from this giant gorilla. Wow. Matter of fact, I'll go 600 tonight only. Doesn't get much better than that, folks. This entire piece, I can't believe it, is pencil. That is unbelievable. How beautiful that is. Wow. All right, Mike. So six hundred dollars on your four A. Now the four B oh, on the screen. Doozy. Now it's got. Now she's got a, a bar across her. Very. I still wanted something more funny there than that, but I'll take that. It's a minus sign. You're at a thousand dollars on this one already. Yeah, Mike. I'll go a thousand bucks on it. I lowered it from twelve hundred to a thousand. First thousand gets it. I love it. It's from again, folks. This is from nineteen seventy six. I can't believe it. 47 years old. It's a beautiful piece. Indeed. Anything written on the back? Uh, other than it's on uh, DC. It's on DC cover stock boards. <laughs> All right. $1,000 on the artwork on the screen. Four Pencils, B. inks, and hand Chan. colored and marker by the great Ernie Chen. But again, this is 1976. This is old. This is great stuff. 
So, the bar has been raised. You're right, Marcus. Wow. All right, one thousand dollars on that one. Next sure tonight. Next up, five A. This is the uh, Russ Heath. Our Russ Heath from nineteen sixty nine Silver Age. I will lower this to a thousand bucks. Really, really nice piece. Pencils and inks. Russ Heath from the Sergeant Rock story. Uh, titled. Let me scroll down. Titled Easy Company, Where Are You? And again, this is the medic going back in time. Uh, when he's being chased by Nazis and he's going back in time of when he was a kid being chased by cops when he robbed a bank. Wow. 4B. Oh, was that 4B? 4B yeah, that is 11 by 17. Yeah, it's, yeah, on, it's on yeah. DC cover stock artboard, 1711. All right, so $1,000 on this one, right, Mike? The Russ Heath? Uh, what the heck? I'll go 950. I told you uh, a page a year earlier just sold tonight. I hate to say it, tonight earlier on Heritage for two thousand six hundred and forty dollars. Russ Heath, our Army at War page. So nine fifty tonight only. All right, that's on your five A. Five B is the next one. That's the Jim Farrow Brave and the Bold page from what is that? Seventy three. Mr. Miracle in every single panel. The page where the girl tries to kill him and he uses his powers. And goes from in front of her to behind her. Wow! But anyway, I have a twelve. I'll, I'll go eleven hundred bucks on this. Beautiful Mister Miracle page as he teamed up with Batman in this story. As he saves the girl, then she tra then she tries to kill him at the end, and he gets her back using his powers. Very very cool. That's funny. Jim Apero, fifty years old, eleven hundred bucks. All right, it's a nice page, Mike. So eleven hundred dollars on your five. Aparo did ink it. This is pencils and inks by Jim Aparo. Yes. Oh, I saw that cat asked the question. Fifty and you years it. old. So there it is. Okay, so eleven hundred dollars on that one. Next up, we've got the uh, Massafera. Is the next one. And we only need two more likes till this, till Cyclops quits the X Men. Come on, we can do it. Beautiful piece, fourteen hundred on it. I'll go to thirteen hundred on it. Beautiful piece, fourteen by seventeen inches. Stunning, stunning. Oversized, large piece. I love the skulls as much as I love the skulls because remember he has the skull chest and the skull and the teeth. Oh, those are big teeth there. Let me tell you, I wrapped it around his bullets. But I love the skulls as much as the Punisher on that piece. All fully painted, thirteen hundred bucks. Beautiful Punisher. All right, through and uh, Comic Art Boston has playing that one at thirteen. Boston. Nice pickup, Cab. That's it's a really nice piece. Thank you there. Thank you know you what is we, we know what Felipe's covers go for, so uh, yes. yeah, it's a good buy. I sold several of his covers for fifteen plus. Those are that's and uh, thank you, Nifty Price. Nice. All right, uh, moving right along. Six B now, Mike Diodato, Incredible Hulk. Getting hit with Cap's shield or something like that. It's not even Cap's shield. It's, it's Hercules, Hercules throwing a manhole, throwing a oh, manhole, a manhole. bouncing off of the Hulk's chest. Are you Come kidding on, that's me? not going to do any harm to Semi -splash the Semi-splash page. Wow. Folks, I will go 1350 on this one. Beautiful, beautiful. Mike Diodato, Incredible Hulk, Hercules on each number one. Penciled and inked by Mike Diodato from the story titled In the Shadow of Argo. And that is Hercules who's going to be a big, 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 big guy in the Marvel movie universe coming up. And the Hulk doesn't get much better than that. Hulk. <laughs> so, uh, third... oh, that was, uh, that was the mass affair. I don't worry about it, Mike. Oh, okay. uh, anyway, so 1350 is your uh, price on this one. I'll go 1300. What the heck? 1300. All right. $1,300. Oh, Semi splash, Hulk semi smash, splash. Ah, ah. All right, 1300 on that. Todd McFarlane next for your 7A. Again, the Todd McFarlane, this is large art, folks. 12 by 18 on 13 by 19.4 board. I'll go from, I had 1700, I'll go 1500 on it. It's getting harder and harder and harder to find McFarlane art of anything, especially. The stuff he did right before he went to Marvel to draw Hulk and Spidey. This is just a year and a half before he started drawing Spidey, folks. Beautiful page with the man shark, Kacharo, 
talking to Penny Dreadful with also the Infinity recruiter, Mora, and another Infinity team member. I couldn't figure out who it was. Uh, but really nice 15. As a matter of fact, what the heck? This is Todd Pencils. Todd didn't pencil ink anything for DC ever. So it's Todd Pencils and Tony DeZaniga inks. That was the team uh, back then on Infinity Incorporated. It was always McFarlane and Tony DeZaniga. 1986. All right. 1500 on that one, and right, Again, Mike? this is large art. And 1500 Final final best offer. Uh, what the hell? I'll go 1475. All right. 1475. Yeah, on this, is this is larger. This is larger. Look at look the size of it compared to other DC art. It's huge. It's larger. A lot of art. Uh did he sign it? He didn't sign this one, but but it is McFarland, so. All right. So next up we got the John Romita Senior Droids page. Right, but I, Infinity Incorporated, he never, ever inked himself ever on an Infinity Incorporated page. Okay, uh, the great John Ramita Sr. from 1985, first issue of the droids. And we have R2-D2 in the first panel with the main character of, of the story, Joss Allen. Then he creates the, the robot. Uh, uh, he kicks open and Robot X-1, who actually helps him win the war. Anyway... I have 2,000 on this. I will go, what the heck? I will go 1,600. Again, this is larger. This is actually bigger than larger. Let me see. I want to see the actual art image. I believe it's bigger than 12 by 18. We'll compare it to the Infinity Ink page. But I mean the actual art image. The board is a lot bigger. Okay, no, it's 12.2 by 18 inches. But the board is, I'm just saying, the board is bigger than the, uh, the board is bigger than the, uh, but it's actually 12 by 18. All right, so 1.2 by 18. But beautiful 16. John Ramita Sr. First issue, I will go $1,600 on it. Okie dokie, $1,600 on Mike 7B. Yeah, Next maybe up. this guy is a transformer. I don't know. But again, the key is it's drawn by the great John Ramita Sr., which is just a great, great, great piece. All right, we only need one more like to hit 150, Mike. We can do it. Oh, we can do it. Hit those likes, smash button. Folks, the death. <laughs> Salva Sema pencil inks the Hulk in all but one panel. I'm sorry, all but two panels. And uh, so he's in one, two, three, four out of six. But the two panels he's not in is the death of the abomination. First appearance of Miss Modoc and the death of the abomination page. 2000, I'll go 1850 on. I love this page. I know it'll sell as soon as I put it up on the site. Again, these are three are stats, but they just reverse the panels. The Hulk is here, the other two are panels one and two. But all reverse, they even tell you on the back how they reversed it. But 1983, first appearance of Miss Modoc with Modoc, Hulk, and uh, the death of the abomination gets killed. Great piece. Claim I just made it 150. Anyway, right. uh, beautiful just piece. made the likes at 150. So, uh, oh, so you're at 1850 on that one, though, right, Mike? 1850 on that one. That's a doozy page. First appearance, Miss Modoc, Death of the Abomination. If you're a Hulk fan, that's key stuff. All right, next up, Bill Sienkiewicz. Bill Sienkiewicz with Moon Knight on it in the last panel, but I will lower this. I'll go two grand on it. 41 years old. Great, great page with, uh, again, Frenchie and Mark Spector are in the top uh, of the page as they purposely go to prison so that they can break out and capture the bad guys. So that that's that's uh Mark Spector and Frenchy at the top. And then that that's their but their buddy uh, 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 uh Marlene Marlene infiltrating Nimrod's operation. And then Moon Knight at the bottom. Two grand. All right, two thousand dollars on your eight B Mike. Now yep. back to the Incredible Hulk. Salby Sema oh, this is a doozy page. battle page. Doozy battle page. Uh, uh, pencil and inks, John Basema, nine, uh, Sal Basema, I'm sorry, 1980. I will go uh, 2100 on it. I'm like 300 bucks off. Great, great, great battle page with Samson, Doc Samson, and the Hulk battling the changelings. We got Pantheras, Elephantine, and Neptunus uh, all throughout the page. They did, they did read a word balloon from the back. They taped in a word balloon from the back. But everything is drawn art. 
great, great, great page of the Hulk. Again, Bronze Age Hulk, 43 years old. Wow. And that elephant uh, guy is, he's just frightening. You, would, you wouldn't want to you know, come across that guy in a dark alley. So uh, what do we got here? $2,100, right? Yeah. Very nice. Now, here we go. We got Nova in every panel on this one because that is his hand in uh, panel three. Correct. But again, this is John Basema, Ink by the Great uh, uh, Bob McLeod. To me, Basema and McLeod were a great team. Bob McLeod, to me, is one of the greatest inkers ever in Marvel. Just a great, great 1978 page from the story titled The Shocking Secret of Nova. And it's sort of cool. He rescues his brother and dad, and they don't know that he's Nova yet. That's why it's, and you get even get Shirley, the Sherlock Holmes uh, robot, sort of cool. But anyway, I have twenty five hundred on it. I'll go uh, twenty two fifty. It's hard to find. You know, Nova is going to be in the Marvel movies very soon too, so this stuff is going to be very desirable once the movies come out. But he's in every panel. Nineteen seventy eight, John Buscema, Ink by Bob McLeod. Great, great, great stuff, folks. Wow. Twenty two fifty on that one, right, Mike? 9B. 2250. All right. Two more to go. Both from round 10. Both Jack Kirby's. Wow. Splash page. Uh, I'll, I'll lower this to nine grand. I've already sold a couple interiors for 3500 but I figured, cool. Uh, Hitler's only in two pages. This, and I think on page four, Hitler's on. But that's it on the whole story. But very, very cool. You got Hitler, Rommel, Hitler, Rommel, and Himmler all on it. And just Jack Kirby is so renowned from his Captain America. God, think about it. He won, he first came into power, practically. That's amazing when you think about it. The great Jack Kirby and the iconic Captain America number one. Matter of fact, Bill, I'll go 8,800 on this. So 8,800. And time payments are possible. All right, $8,800 on your 10A. Again, ink and, uh, by Mike Warrior, who is way more desirable than D. Bruce Berry to mo most fans. Mike Warrior is his best 70s inker. You won't get any arguments from me on that. Yeah. So last but not least, another Kirby. Uh, Thor I don't know if Jason has found the money in his, in his uh, couches yet, but uh, what do you think? Yeah, Thor in five or six panels, and the panel he's not in, you have Lady Sif. And Loki, and the first appearance of the evil wizard Igron. Uh, I have 1500. I have 1500. I'll go 14 on it. And time payments are possible. <clears throat> That's a great page, Mike. Classic six panel layout on that. Beautiful one. first, beautiful second, beautiful third, beautiful fourth, ungodly fifth. And then there, and and did he, he did sign? Did he sign it? For some uh, reason, yeah. I thought it was signed. Yep, this. Oh no, the splash is signed. This one's not signed. Yet. But when you get that many full, bo great shots of Thor, wowza! Yeah, that is a nice page. And we do definitely, package deals. Definitely a good one. Package deals are available. So Mike will be in the chat while Anthony. Well, I'm who's in the good? chat, folks? If people wanna. Work on any deals. So, uh, Sharon, how are we going to work Anthony into this? Is he going to be running the recap or are you? Look at look at that guy. He's just, like, relaxing. Relaxing. Yeah. Let's all just relax. Sit you know, back. We're going to do, 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 do on Wednesday nights. We only do this once a week. And there's Anthony just taking it easy tonight. And you can't hear – and it's nice. You can't hear a thing he's saying. He's, you know, you're muted, Anthony. Anthony, you're muted. Okay, I'm back. Let's go. Uh, Come on, sell okay, some stuff, Okay, everybody, let's take a break Use for a little bit. Use your superpowers. Okay. Use your super cutie powers. Who was handling on. the recap for Team Snyder tonight? Sell some stuff, Sharon. I'll, I'll know, I'll, I'll know stuff. what I got. All right, so uh, Mike will be in the chat, everybody. Let's throw your offer. And Anthony will be in the chat, too. I don't know. Well, no. I guess he'll be on screen, though. Everybody but he, can be in the chat. Oh, that is Love true. This that is true. Yeah. All right, Mike, I'm dropping you out. We gotta go. Mike's I haven't eaten dinner stuff. yet. All right. Dinner, dinner's not for winners. All right. So Sharon's gonna lead us off here. Dinner. 
Let's see here. Let me get you right on the screen. Let's go, right Sharon. Here. Come on. All right. You know, Super this one's powered. Super All right, cute. Here we go. Yeah, Aquaman and the thing riding a dolphin. Yeah. Yeah. That's there the thing. Go. And Sharon, if she was a man. Cool. Aquaman is just the way I like him. He's very traditional. Love it. And the thing looks so cool. There it is. Yeah. What's my best price, Anthony? 275. 275 275 what a deal 275 275 275 gotta do a job i mean how often did uh ramona Fraden draw flipper yeah. like that i mean very cool any other time than that one i mean i can't uh i can't imagine we're that, a very but... inclusive uh trio there it's like uh trigonometry uh yeah I don't know, but that's a good one. So you said uh, two seventy-five is your best price on that one. Yeehaw, Ramona Frayden. And then we've got another fabulous Aquaman swimming. It looks like he's seeing something that looks a little bit concerning. He what just found think? Nemo. That's why he's happy. Oh, Nemo. Maybe Dory's there, too. Oh, yes. Oh, no. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Right. There it is. Harry Dodson, Aquaman. And my best price is... Uh, $250? You heard it. That's 50 bucks off. Very cool. Surfing right. USA. So yeah. Fifty. Now I remember that Anthony did drop the price of a 1A, 1B combo to $500 too, just so everybody knows. But uh, so 275, 250 on the Dotson. And uh, hey, I was reminded of this meme. <laughs> no Aquaman, no thing. But uh, you do get Mike Berkey riding Flipper. There we Can go. Can I cancel that 1B claim? <laughs> <laughs> no, you may not. No, you may not. <laughs> I'm why? Sorry. Why does? <laughs> why? All right, so look we, at we, that. We gotta get me Mike and, and Anthony riding a dolphin on a meme one day. That would be the best. That would be our same-sex marriage icons. Vi yeah. Down to two seventy-five. Yes, indeed, two seventy-five. Gabe okay. Carino. Thank you, Gabe. Hey, Gabe. Thank you very much. Gabe, that's a, that's a piece you're going to want to keep in your collection for a very long time. It is so rare, and every time you you see that image, you're going to be reminded of the dueling dealers of comic card. Yes, thank you, Gabe. <laughs> and if Sharon was a superhero man, I'd love him even more. All right, so the Dodson was a 250. What do we got for 2A next? Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? 2A was the oh the Peacemaker and the Vigilante. Uh, oh yeah look at this all right now this is really well done beautiful eyes detailing color everything is very cool the perspective even is really awesome jason brody peacemaker the john cena version very cool very fun and my best price is 400 anthony sure 400 yeah. 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 It's You're the cutest it's so thing. The pose there. I love it. It's awesome. Well, I just it? like the frenulum head with the V face. Yeah. Right. How much did we say? 400? Four, yeah. Well, how about 375 for just for Woo! fun? 375. Okay. He's going crazy in that hotel. Yeah. Room. He's hungry. Hey, something, He's Chris. Come hilarious. on. Get it it's while it's hot. All right, Come so we got 375 on, on 2A. Oh, yeah. Now. Play something that Spider Punk would play, Chris. Come on. Oh, this is so cool. Spider Punk, check out that. Such a cool effect he did with this. Really awesome. 11 by 17, and it's signed. And it's only 
375 again, too. Yeah. 375 for this one, too. Very cool. Karen, do a package deal. Package. Package. That means I'll have to add. <gasps> Sharon math. What? Sharon math. So How what about seven hundred for the pair? So you're going uh, seven hundred for the pair? Seven hundred for those? Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Now uh, let's see. Three A was picked up, so we've got uh, this three B artwork by Casey Jones. Casey Jones, where'd you go? Awesome. Jones. This is cool. This is cool. Nightwing. Haunches. Number 23. It's cover. Awesome art. 11 by 17. It's signed. Right up a little. And this is how it looked. So cool. Woo! Yay. Very nice. The best prices. <laughs> he thinks he licks his gun with four tongues. 950? Yeah, sure. 900 even. 900 even. All righty, nine hundred dollars. Ask the question, Bill. Come on, ask the question. Ask the question. All right, Bill. is, is nine hundred the best you can do, Anthony? Eight seventy-five. Oh, wow, anyway. another, wow. another twenty-five dollars off. Eight seventy-five on a three B. Okay. Next up, this page is so cool. What, Michael Biondi, X Men Gold, number twenty-six, page thirteen. Check it out. I mean, there's so much cool perspective going on. You really like that about this page, right? And it's got the zip well, tone. I just like And the cool boots. I like the shoes. Yeah. <laughs> is that, uh, my, uh, Bill, is that, uh, Colossus? How much, Anthony? Is that Colossus beating down Dr. Doom? Oh, it looks like it. I mean, it's from an X book, so you would yeah. think so. I mean, but, yeah, All right, how about 675? That sounds good to me. Six seventy-five. Very cool. Look at those panels at the bottom. Very nice. All right. Then we have Steve Rude, Hulk versus the Thing. Wonderful ink work here, 11 by 14, and it's signed. It was $1,000, but for you today, we got the well, I mean, full you know, price. It's, it's Hulk jumping on the Thing's back. It's our avatars for the show. Yeah, it is. So, it's Let's see. Hmm. Get off my back, Berkey, at $850. A50. All right. That's a good deal, Anthony. You're the best deal I ever made in my life. All right. So $850 on the 4B, Steve Rude. Yes. Next up, what do we got next? We've got we uh, Joe Staten. Eight and a quarter? You like said eight 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 and a quarter or eight seventy five? Which one? Wait, which one? Eight fifty. Okay. Oh. No, wait. All what? right, so uh this this <laughs> one is so cool. Die kitty die, cocaine bear, yeah. and a rattlesnake. Uh, attacking the Sharona. Let's do uh, let's do eight hundred on this one. Eight hundred. Wonder why it was unused. That's yeah, great cover. Really, great. I didn't know it was unused when I got it. So yeah, we looked for it and couldn't find it. Very very nice. Eight hundred. Eight hundred. Cocaine bear. Die, kitty, die. And this gorgeous collar by Scott Hanna. This belongs on your wall. She's using her superpowers in the sky, a purple sky, and getting the lightning going all over a couple ammo. 11 by 17. And this is a great deal, right, Anthony? Because you're going to lower it to... What's your lowest Thank price? Uh, 850. <laughs> I thought we lost you there. All right, eight fifty. No, you're thought. never gonna lose me, honey. Aww. All right, so eight fifty. Best price on uh, six eight. Anthony. 
And here we go. I was going to draw a bikini top and Sharpie on it. Oh, yeah. Ah, uh, there, there we go. go. Come on. Tony You're not go. selling it. Sell it. She's, well, she's gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful, you know. Topless. She's topless. She Painted. is from Africa. It's 15 the- by 20, ready to be framed. And it's just, it's gorgeous. And, and what's Very your large uh, art. Best price, sir? What's the price, Anthony? Uh, 1250 1250 sounds good. That's yeah, a great commission. It is great. Why are you covering that up? Sell those boobs. <laughs> Come on. All right, so now it's my turn. All right, so we got uh, this beautiful Philip Tan. Got the beautiful. It's getting dark here in Phoenix. Uh, I got this beautiful Philip Tan cover. Uh, I can do eighteen hundred on it. Uh, it uh, the last one of these I had a local Phoenix guy bought it. Are you in the chat, local Phoenix guy? Come see me tomorrow at Fantastic Worlds in Scottsdale. Oh, okay, so I can do seventeen fifty. That's that's best. All right, Anthony, seventeen fifty and your seven A. Now this this is a this is a hot mess of a cover, man. It's so cool. You got Batman and you got this crazy uh, uh, hyena eating eating this giant bone of what is that? And it's got metal hands and just look at that. So cool. So, published Ethan Van Cyber cover uh, from DC Aftermath, Batman, Feeding Time. And best price? All right. Uh, I could do 25 on this. 25. That's my Batman round. $2,500 on your 7B. Chris, play Batman. Play the theme for what? Batman. I was playing Batman. Oh. Batman. Markham Asylum, that's funny. All right, so for you Cap fans and Avengers fans, look at that great group shot there. I got this at 2500 I'll do 2250 $2,250. Look at that group shot. Epting and a great, uh, like one-third splash and a uh, of that group shot is just really cool. We got the big dog from the humans. Lockjaw? Yeah, Lockjaw. The big dog. The big dog that teleports everybody. I hey. know. I know. All right. So uh, 2250 on that one. Next yeah, up. 2250 on this one. Now we got this really cool MC Wyman, Keith Williams, US agent. Wow, look at that wall quality. Wall quality pose. And wow. All right. Tonight only, 2500. Wow. Woo. All right. Yes, Jason, you are the big dog. You are the bulldog. All right. Now we have this. Okay. We got uh, the Quasar 26 page with the Thanos. And it's got the Infinity crossover. Oh, my goodness. Paul, yes, stepping up. Thank you very much. Thank you, Paul. All right, that was the uh, MC Wyman. That right. is correct. That's uh, USA agent number three, page one. All right, Thank now you, this unique page. What what are we doing on this one, Anthony? All right, so this Thanos and all this Infinity War. Oh man. Uh, Let's do three. Let's do three on this. Three even. Thanos. 
us. Wow. Okay. Three even. Yeah, three even. All right, on the uh, Dave Uber piece, three more to go. What do we got next? Of course, the Odin title page from Avengers 310. Yeah. Now, this one, oh, man, so hard to get a quality splash like this with a full image and, you know, wall, again, a, a wall-capable splash. Death in Olympia with the Odin. Wow, he's presiding over his Asgardian universe. Let's do uh, 4,500. 45. 45 Hun. As 45 Ube Hun. On his nine in the desert. Three. Not getting it done at the 45 Hun, but it's a nice page nonetheless. Paul Ryan, Tom Palmer. Next up, two more to go. We got Rich Buckler, Vince Galetta on this Black Lightning number three cover. Yep. All right. We got this Bronze Age goodness from DC. Rich Buckler number three cover of Black Lightning. Um, you know, send me some interest. I, I I got a lot into this. This is uh, this is uh, tough tough to come by. DC covers like this, this era. 1977. <laughs> Black Lightning getting hosed down. Yeah, Fire getting hosed. He is getting hosed. All he wanted to do was watch Clark Kent on TV and, and Egghead had to hose him. What well, I think, uh, you know, that was Clark Kent when he became a TV reporter. So uh, instead of a newspaper reporter. But what's the what was the price on it? What's the best price, sir? You know, it's, it's, I don't know. That's what I'm asking. Eleven, uh, you know. I don't somebody's, know. <laughs> somebody's got to show me some interest. We got to get something done there. Let's All handle. Right. All right, eleven. Everybody is the price on that one. So one more to go. A Kirby Thor. Yeah. Now I got this Kirby Thor signed by Jack. Really, really great. Um, really great middle panel with Pluto unleashing his horde. I could do nine even on this one. Nine even. Great signature. Nine even on that this door. All right. All right. Nine even on that one. Eleven even on the one before that. Yeah, let's do a package deal on round ten. I don't know. Are we gonna? I don't think we're gonna get any package deals. I like your packages. Ah. <laughs> I'm fighting with production. To turn you, that honey. slide off. There, I did it again. All right. Hey, Mr. Berkey's back, bagging our work. Hey. Just and bagging and boarding art. Bagging and boarding. Hey, somebody dumped some chips on my head. I'm in a casino. Here we go. You'll have to dump them on your own head, sir. Oh, I cashed them in on the way here. Here, wait a minute. Here, Sharon, you've oh. already. Here. <laughs> yeah, baby, in the money. Oh. Now you can dump them on his head. You are so cute, Sharon. Will you fly to Phoenix tonight and be with me? No, you got you got to be able to work in the morning, Anthony. Yeah. Hmm. I do. I have to get up. So come see me tomorrow at Fantastic Worlds and then in L.A. Uh, Saturday and Sunday. And then San Diego. Stay classy. That is true. That is very true. And I don't know if the scores are correct. I, I have Mike with six sales. But uh, it and wouldn't. Folks, wouldn't have folks I'm at booth 4,400 next week. Come and see. I'll have between 2 and $3 million of new art at the show, folks. Got to come and see me early. I got about a hundred new those pages as well. So, a <laughs> hundred new pages. I, I don't know how much I'm value. Heavy hitters. Heavy hitters. Out, but. Uh, heavy Southern Comic Geek. You could you could win with that Hulk sale from uh, Southern Comic Geek. Not a Hulk Make. sale. I couldn't win. Uh, that was that uh, the Sal Buscema. Oh. I forget what you offered you though. No. You were at seventeen fifty, as I recall. Oh, I thought I was at eighteen hundred. No, you were at seventeen fifty. Uh, Southern that, Comic Geek, I'll go seventeen hundred then for you. Okay, just that one last. That was on the Modoc. 
and the Ms. Modak. Right, the Modak one. I'll go hey. 1700 for you, Southern Comic King. I think that's a great deal. Let me know. If, all right, everybody come to my booth. Any sale, I'll, I'll do a sketch on my comic book cover. Uh, the Dueling Dealers uh, variant uh, exclusive. It's got 1700. Let me know. <laughs> Death of the Abomination. First appearance of Miss Modoc. Hulk in the four largest panels. Doesn't get much better. Southern Comic Geek says 1700 with free shipping. Don't do coming, it. Are you, com- are you coming to San Diego Con? Yeah, don't do so it. So I can hand deliver it. Don't do it. <laughs> I don't think Southern Comic Geek's going to San Diego, unfortunately. I, I don't know that. I want to. I don't want to speak for him. But uh, we'll find out in a second, and then we'll know. But uh, yes, yeah, so I'm not going to be at San Diego. I think Sharon's going to be at San Diego. Chris, yeah, you're not going to be coming. at San Diego. Uh, and uh, Southern no, Comic. What the heck? I'll do the deal. That's fine. That's oh. for the next show. We already did that. We already. We already did the winning. We meeting. didn't play the winning meme yet, though. Free the uh, shipping. On the the show's going. Okay, that's good. I'll do the deal. All right. Well, then that, the uh, win. that gets I'll be in Lake George this weekend. Sorry, Anthony. Lake George? You're going to have you a great sorry. You always do that. You just milk it, milk it, milk it for him to get the oh, out oh, some oh, 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 oh. It's time yeah. to bring out some Hulk cologne. Oh, oh boy. No, no oh. Hulk cologne. Sharon, sell something real quick. I totally reneged uh, on that one B. Uh, uh, How much is that one B? I, I told take quick, that quick. away. Get no. claiming, people. It's Everyone, Sharon, show, uh, sell some stuff. Uh, <laughs> See, there you uh, have an offer from Jeff Dunn on your 8A. Uh, That's the Epting uh, Palmer. Thank you, Avengers. everybody. We'll see everybody hang in San Diego. Hang, hang on, Mike. Hang, oh, hang on. <laughs> hang on. 600 Sell some stuff. new pieces of art, folks. I got, there's an offer from I'm Jeff Dunn. I'm literally having between two and three million dollars of new art, folks. Kirby, Ditko, covers, 70s, Bronze Age, Silver Age, everything in San Diego. Booth 4400 and 4402 next week. Be there, folks. You won't want to miss it. Wow. That's true. So it's that one right there, Anthony. Just letting you know. Too even. <laughs> so it's too, too even. even. They're not that silly. Hey, you never know. You never know. But so back to you, Jeff. Thank you for that $1,800 offer, sir. Thank you. All right. Give me back my win. And take one. Two thousand. Right. Thank you very much, everybody. Well, he hasn't it's taken it yet. O'clock. Everybody, you have a great week. We'll see you at San Diego next week. I appreciate it. Hulk, Hulk and I think, Spidey stay. Hulk and Spidey. Jeff, Jeff says he can't do it at two. After another dueling dealer victory over Anthony Schneider, Hulk liked to relax and put on his Hulk cologne. Hulk cologne. This smells incredible. That's that's cool. <laughs> let's Jeff. Let's do nineteen hundred. Uh, Anthony's been trying at nineteen hundred. But hey, uh, there will not Have be a, a dueling week. dealers episode I love next you, week. Everybody, we'll see you next week. Ma- maybe I'll pop Diego. on. We'll see you in two yeah. weeks, everybody. Hey, hey, but hang on, guys. Let me let me put the email addresses on the screen for everybody oh, yeah. so you can see if you purchased anything tonight. Don't wait till tomorrow. Do it tonight. Email both of these gentlemen. Let me let them know. Which artworks you bought? All right, I just it. got the eighteen hundred. Include your mailing offered. address and your YouTube or Facebook handle, as everybody knows. So, uh, what you're saying? You're accepting Thank the eighteen. Are you accepting eighteen hundred, Anthony? Yeah, Is that what you're doing? Let's do it. Really? Yeah. Okay. I just lost two hundred bucks. Good job. Eighteen hundred dollars to Jeff Dunn, and now Anthony has snatched victory from the jaws it's of defeat. Been a wheel. And a wheel spin gets to happen. Now we have okay. to play well, an Anthony winning game. we can game. still sell some art then. Okay. Folks, <laughs> Come McFarlane, on, Sharon. I, show I, some I, stuff. I have, I have hey, wait, 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 wait. Are we <laughs> spinning the I'm wheel? $100 on the website. Spin the only. wheel so we can Folks, call it a night. Nobody. tonight only then. If we're still Nobody. Going, I won. 
Nine hundred bucks on the Heath. I'll do that tonight only. Nine hundred bucks on the Heath. I would win if this was the Price is Right. Oh. <laughs> Show some stuff, Paul Chris. Pappas. Who? Paul Pappas. Cox, don't you dare mute me. The website. Hey, Cox, don't you dare mute me anymore like that. Mute oh, it. No, you don't mute me. I didn't mute you. Oh, you don't mute about? me. Said you, you said the host muted me. I saw it in the corner. I didn't do it. Yeah, Stop because oh. you're... Gwen you're did it. Congratulations, Paul. <laughs> Yay! Okay. Nineteen hundred. It is a runaway train, Todd, but it's, it's our train to ride. Now. It's our family. Go, folks. All right, everybody. Play listen. my winning meme. No, there's go. no winning it's meme. My you know, total. The price is right at the bottom. That's for next week. Anthony, Anthony if you play the winning meme, week. it's going to give Mike a chance to get a sale. I'm just saying, but I'll play give it. Give me my total. Because it's going to give him a chance. I'm the winner. <laughs> Do the math. Do the Last math. Chance. Party time. Can I see my Not total, a, please? The Seminova. You can Last add it for yourself. It's 65, 75. And take that 300 off. Oh, no. Hey, you know what? Hey, I would not I would never have sold that Hulk picture for 1700 unless it was for the win. Southern Comic Geek, I'm going to have to take that sale off. Then. You can take that. Okay. Back. Yeah, to take that sale off them. No, that, that doesn't work win. that way. That's the only reason why I All sold right, everybody. That everybody, we are bucks, calling folks, it a night. Khalil, call, call me. Last chance. You won't see us next week. <laughs> Chris, I will do fourteen hundred dollars right now on the McFarland. Fourteen hundred on the McFarland right now. Fourteen hundred. I gotta go eat. Bye. Bye, everybody. Matter of fact, I'll do thirteen hundred tonight only. Thirteen hundred tonight only. Good night, everybody. Thirteen hundred right.